stuff. It's like its whole body is an open wound. We should keep moving. No telling how long that gate's gonna last. So tell me again why this Ali did not hide her like the stream. Armies are here. Got food to shift. Give it one more hit. There shouldn't be zombies inside the fences, right? Better question? Where are all the people? No way. They can't all be gone. They sure left a lot of stuff behind. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Now that's worth crawling through the mud for. Who gets the party started? I do. Keep your eyes open. I bet you can find a better weapon here somewhere. Maybe my idea to explore the camp wasn't so good after all. Too many Z's behind us to go back now. We might as well keep looking around. That'll come in handy. After this long, people kept hoping to find their families again. Yeah, just like mom hoping you'd come home when she got sick. Didn't happen either. I had a job and a life, unlike some people. Somebody had to take care of her. Sure wasn't gonna be you. I'm not getting into this again. Not now. Can't do it. Popular back at base. What is this place? Creepy as fuck. That's what. Of course it's. Looks just like the gooey one we saw outside the gate. And it bit me. I got gunk all over my shirt. Now that is a tragedy. Now that's worth. I guess even a zombie apocalypse can't stop red tape. is really itching. You always did fuss over every little scratch. Oh my god. What the hell happened here? Oh my god. Oh, what a mess. Is it just me or did it suddenly get really hot? Maybe we can find you some medicine if we keep looking. I am sure glad these aren't completely gone. That'll come in handy. Should look somewhere else. Yo, 
That's a lot of zombies. We can get past them if we're quiet. supposed to be any civilians here we thought the army might have food where did everyone go whoever's still in charge shut it down pulled everybody out the army's gone kiddo lucky for you I stuck around to keep an eye out for anyone left behind oh fuck I feel terrible I just want to lay down and die Juan, you don't look so good my brother was bitten I, I think it's infected got any medicine I've seen this before you need something special. Go find the doc over at the SMB. Tell him I sent you. supposed to be any civilians left in the camp. I always knew she was a softie. What do you need? My brother is sick. I think it might be serious. Uh-huh. Eh, uh, you'd better come with me. This is like the one that bit me. What's wrong with it? We call it the blood plague. It's contagious to humans and it takes you while you're still alive. Are you saying that's what's gonna happen to me? Well, probably, but maybe not. Hey, you, come here. You have a flashlight. Look for a sample case in there and bring me whatever you find. I'd been researching blood plague with some other civilians. We found a cure that works if you use it soon after infection. The army took our lab when they left, but they didn't get everything. Did you find it? No cure? Damn. I'll need an infirmary to culture a new dose. Hey, Doc, shit's getting bad out there. Thanks to all the noise, the Zeds are swarming the perimeter. This camp is done for. It's time for us to go. All of us. You know I can't leave Jamie. If you stay, I gotta stay. Then we both die. Jamie's gone. But this kid still needs your help. Okay, fine. Just... Give me a second. Make it quick. We don't have much time. Before we go, I need your help. That thing in the cage? It was a person once. I tried to reverse the effect, but we ran out of time. I don't have it in me to do what I should. Maybe you do? I know we've had our problems, but please, don't let me turn into one of those things. You're my brother. I have your back. Always. It's okay. I couldn't do it either. All right, time to go. Big Sister's got the wheel. I heard some rumors about a good place we could hold up.
survive without the army around? We keep going. As long as we stick together, we can survive anything. Sounds like we're empty again. You'd better be close. This is the place. Pull up here. It's not much, but it should keep us safe. Luckily, I don't need that much to get started. Good to know. How are you feeling, little brother? Like I got hit by a truck. This plague shit sucks. Yes, and you need to take it seriously. Get over to the infirmary, okay? Yeah, sure. The infirmary. Maybe that'll fix everything. Yo, on it. like shit better get fixed up please tell me he's gonna pull through he has to this isn't as good as having the actual cure but i should be able to keep his blood plague from getting worse for a while that is if we can keep our supply of meds from running out damn it this isn't fair hey now don't panic the doc has this under control i know how to make a cure that will work that's not the issue I just need more plague samples. My lab didn't have enough. I think I saw a place where we can find all the samples you'll need. It could be worthwhile to climb up and get a better look around. All right, time to look around. Good news, I can see a lot of good spots for scavenging. We should get on that before we run totally dry. I like that idea. We should prioritize buildings that have what we need most. I think that'll do Zahir J. Afri Jr. liked the stream.
time to get this done. Ain't nobody dying on my watch. the plague sample we need. Nice work. We're one step closer to the cure my patient here needs. Well, that ain't half bad. Sample here. How's he doing? I'm starting to think dying would be better than this. Relax. Everything will be fine. And you, please drop the sample in our supply locker. Alrighty, I have the cure in hand. You ready to start feeling better? This may not be contagious, but. You probably still shouldn't hang around me. Take this. You'll be as good as gold in no time. Okay, medicine. Work your sciencey magic. I'd forgotten how it felt to actually save a life instead of losing all the time. I like that feeling. I think maybe survival is just finding every chance to feel like that again. It's sure nice to have things go right for a change. All right, we survived. That's good. But we ain't the only ones out here trying to do that. Unless we start killing some uglies, Nobody's gonna last in this town for long. In my experience, the best way to find uglies is to follow the screamers. 
I saw one on our way into town. No room for that. Where am I supposed to put? We should worry about our base before we go out hunting Zeds. For this place to be functional, we need to upgrade it with some building materials. I'm already full up. No room for that. I can't carry that much. Hey, yo! Why don't you take the lead? I can't carry that much. I need a supply drop on my location. I've never bailed on a debt before, and I'm not starting now. Hey. Hey, if you ain't too busy, I could use some help. Following you. I'm listening. Okay, we're running on fumes here. We really need some more fuel. No more of that. If we come across any crazy crap you've always had on your bucket list, <laughs> let me know. Yo, it's worse than we thought. I'm looking at an infestation here. Once they gather like this, it just gets worse. Can you clear that? I guess I'm here anyway. Might as well. That could have gotten a lot worse. to know that I'm all done here. That's a damn good start. Oh, that was dumb. How about I carry that rucksack for you? Okay. <laughs> We're thinking about long-term survival. We need friends. 
Let's get on the radio and see who else lives around Syed here. Syed Alnain Ali Jaffrey liked the stream. Base, I just finished a new outpost, and I gotta tell you, it's looking good. And now that I look around, oh, I got some ideas on how to make it even better. When I was a kid, my aunt used to take me to this fancy tea room. We didn't fit in, but we faked it pretty good. Sometimes I get the same feeling here. We don't know what we're doing, but we're faking it pretty good. And that's enough. I got my eye on a zombie, not far off. <laughs> we really need to find more building materials. <laughs> Way too loud. Special delivery. room for it we need allies the skills and resources they offer are vital to our survival we can find the materials we need in here. I feel like this shouldn't be our top priority right now. This is about our home. That has to be our priority. What I was looking for. Ah, oh, nice. Now I just gotta carry these materials home. How about I carry that rucksack for you? I'm listening. Check out what I just found. I might be carrying too much here. Let's not waste time here.
Yo, look who's back! I'm glad you're home. Thanks for handling this. I'm listening. My back's already killing me. Yo, here's the stuff you needed. That should get us started. Thanks. We can use those materials to start building anytime. If we built the workshop, we could keep our weapons from falling apart. You're still on your feet. Oh, hey. No, I wouldn't mind sitting out for a while. I'd sleep better with more ammo around. I know weapon maintenance isn't sexy, but it keeps us alive. It's really about being self-sufficient. That's critical out here. You need allies. The skills and resources they offer are vital to our survival. for us to survive is by heading off potential conflicts before they even get started. If we claimed the nearby military site as an outpost, that would warn away any potential troublemakers. It'd also give us a steady supply of ammo in case anybody doesn't get the message. Hello, is anyone out there? I'm with a group of survivors. We just moved into town, and we're looking to find friendly neighbors. It's a relief to hear another voice. We're in a bit of a bind and could use some help. Can you come by? Ah, you see? We just got here, and we're already making friends. Come on, let's go say hi. Right point. All that hard work pays off. You know? I never thought I'd think of it this way, but maybe I was better off growing up without much. I mean, I'm used to working hard to earn stuff. Honestly, it feels better that way to me. You want something? We need allies. The skills and resources they offer are vital to our survival. We could use a few extra hands around here. What's up? What's up? I'll be right behind. 
need allies. The skills and resources they offer need allies. The skills and resources they offer are vital to our survival. Take it easy. You want something? Take care. Are you bored? I got something to do, if you want to help. Right behind you. That's pretty heavy. You always brighten my day. Air smells awful here. It's gotta be a plague heart. And that means plague zombies too. Am I the only one who thinks this might be crazy? They need help. I think we gotta do this. Die, you fuckers! Oh shit, someone needs a hand. How's it going? I got some stuff to trade. How about it? Okay. That won't work. We're seeing a lot more plague zets lately. I tell you, it's that new plague heart growing nearby. Thank you so much. We'd really appreciate that. Our neighbors are out of food. It looks bad, guys. Don't we have enough in our storage to share a bit? If not, we should go out and scavenge for more.
It's locked. <laughs> Sounds like we're alone. Okay, then. I was looking for it. Oh man, our neighbors are gonna be stoked to see this food. Oh yeah, I like that. No room for that. Caring too much here. I don't even want to know what makes the air taste so bad. If we can't find more food soon, we could be in real trouble. Thanks. You really came through for us. I guess we owe you one. Glad to help. We took a risk, reaching out to strangers like we did. But making connections like that, I think it's how we rebuild the world. I'm not super happy about this aggressive plan of ours. I get what you're saying, but I don't see that we have a choice. Yo, this is bad. I see a bunch of dead army guys walking around here. They're probably wearing bulletproof helmets. Handheld weapons are a better choice here. Relax, I got this. carry that much. Clearing that military site is the first step to staking our claim on it. Don't worry, I got this. Well, ain't this the 
the prettiest red we've seen all day. Hey, keep it down. Might be some Z's in here. No more zombies over here. Can you get an outpost set up there? People need to know this is our territory. Not enough pockets for that. I'm listening. I'm already full up. No more of that. Yo, outpost is done. We'll get a steady supply of ammo from that place. Which I expect will come in handy as we expand our territory. Hello, neighbor. By now, I expect you've seen the plague heart grown nearby. I don't know whether it attracts plague zats or makes them, but they're everywhere. So be very careful in that area, okay? Honestly, I say we should kill that plague heart. And if we could enlist our neighbors in the effort, that'd be useful. Making friends is a smart move. They could have good stuff to trade. To be honest, the only people I really trust is this group right here. We should build the tools we need, rather than relying on outsiders. We don't know for sure if plague sets are created by the heart or just attracted to it. But if we leave this one alone, it's only a matter of time before one of us catches blood plague. Uh-huh. I hear you, loud and clear. Yeah? Follow me.
the Plague Zeds haven't given you too much trouble. I was hoping you'd ask. Ah, excellent. I feel a lot safer having a buddy around. I suggest bringing some explosives for the heart. Hey, neighbor. I just finished making a batch of explosives. Plenty of bang for the buck. That's not good. even want to know what makes the air taste so bad. Yeah. I'm listening. You know, these explosives would be just the thing for killing that pl Thanks, man. These look fucking great. Guys, I just scored some badass explosives from our neighbor. This is why having good trade partners is so important. I don't know if we'll find anything here. We're all done crafting those bombs. Should be enough to seriously mess up that plague heart. Getting close. You can tell by the red haze. And the plague zeds, of course. Okay. I gotta make this quick. Reload! 
taking this town back, one piece at a time. I'm beat. I should rest soon. Can you help me? I don't think I can get home on my own. You got it. I can work with that. Good work. Not enough pockets for that. That's pretty heavy. No room for that. I'm running out of steam. Can't carry that much. Yeah. This shit is heavy. I'm already full up. Can't carry that much. Yeah. I might be carrying too much here. Full up. And that's that. I can't carry that much.
Okay, then. By taking out that plague heart, he really showed us what you're made of. We're very impressed by what you've done here. We'd like to visit your base and talk about the future. All right, lead the way. I'm right behind you. Finally clearing out one of those plague hearts is a big first step. Are you telling me there's more of them around here? Most of town is crawling with plague sets. It's really bad. Believe me, other towns have it worse. What up, everyone? I'm back. Hey, everybody, say hi to our neighbors, okay? They got some bad news to share about the blood plague. There are plague hearts all over town. But if we work together, we could clear them out. Look, the only people I know I can trust are the ones who live inside these walls. No offense. You don't have to trust them completely. We can stay neighbors and just trade with them. If you're that eager to have friends, I say we bring them here. That lets us all keep an eye on each other. Let's ask them what they want to do. I'm listening. I feel like trash. I'm serious about that offer to join you here. This will work out well. Take it easy. If we're gonna last out here, we need to get ourselves organized. We can't all have a say in every decision. We need a plan. That means putting one of us in charge of this group. And you should pick me, but I do have thoughts on this. We need everybody in town cooperating and getting along. As your sheriff, I could make that happen. The future depends on being able to take care of our own needs.
If I were the team's builder, I'd get us planning for the long haul. This world is a mean place. Sometimes we gotta be even meaner. That means we need a warlord in charge, making the calls no one else will. I can do that. Feeling good and ready to work. Can't do it.
Hey. It's your turn to call the shots for a while. I can't carry that much. Somebody better refill their prescription. We need more meds. No more of that. I've got to get checked out. I'm feeling really off. to get myself healthy. You mind giving me a half for a bit? <laughs> Lead on. <laughs> hey, so I'm stepping out for a few, man. See the dock.
We'll be fine if we stick together. Can you get over here right now? We need help. Our neighbors just stole every scrap of medicine we had. How are we supposed to put up with this? What this town needs is law and order. We can't stand by and watch bullshit like this happen. We think we gotta find ourselves a new place to live. We need a base that's got room for us to grow this community. The good news is that we can pack up and bring everything along when we move. Nothing will get lost. Hey, I think I saw a nasty looking zombie out by the ranger station. If anybody felt like playing hero, they could take it down before it wanders over here. Taking a risk for the team is a great way to earn some respect. I don't want to live around play cards any longer than we have to. Time to show all of you I can still pull my weight. Let's do this now and stay ahead of the game.
I'm back in fighting shape and ready to get to work. Things are working out. I feel good. Hey. Take care, you hear? What's up? <laughs> 